Application of expected value of a discrete random variable. Fair game, insurance, and bonds. Recall that the expected value of a random variable represents the average value of the variable when the experiment is repeated many times. The expected value has many applications in real life, such as in comparing insurance policies, making financial decisions, or in deciding whether or not to participate in games of chance, like lotteries or gambling. A common application of mathematical expectation or expected value is in analyzing games of chance. You have most likely played such games before in school. Um, school fairs, we have school fairs, recreation centers, games and amusement centers, and other similar places. The setup is you pay certain amount to play the game and if you win, you get the price, whether cash or in kind. Of course, you do not always win. And at some point, you may wonder whether it would be wiser to stop playing to minimize your losses or play some more to try to recover your losses and maybe have another chance to win the jackpot prize. An understanding of games expected value or mathematical expectation may help you make a wiser choice. Let x be the random variable representing the amounts of gains or losses that a player can incur when playing a game of chance. The expected value of x is called the value of the game. If the value of the game is equal to the amount the player needs to pay to play the game, then the game is said to be fair. For example, you pay 100 pesos to play the game and you compute for the expected value or the value of the game and you computed 100 also, then the game is considered as fair. A fair game means that if the player were to keep playing the game, in the long run, his winnings and losses will even out. In other words, the net gain is zero. A game may also be considered fair by letting X be the player's net gain. A game may also be fair if the expected value or net gain is zero. Example number one. A game consists of drawing one card from deck of cards. If the card drawn is a face card, jack, queen, or king, the player wins 100 pesos. Otherwise, he loses 30 pesos. Determine if the game is fair. So let x be the amount a player can win or lose in one round of the game. He wins 100 pesos with a probability of 12 over 52. Why 12? because there are 12 face cards. And simplifying that, we have 3 over 13. And loses 30 pesos with the probability of 40 over 52. Why 40? Because subtracting this 12 from 52, 40 cards that are not face cards. So 40 over 52, simplifying that, we have 10 over 30. Now, computing for the expected value, 100 times the probability 3 over 13 plus loses 30 so it's negative 30 times the probability 10 over 30. Simplifying or computing this the result is 0. Since the player's expected net gain is 0 the game is considered fair. Example number two, the organizing committee of a high school reunion placed 150 balls inside the box. Ten of the balls are red, five are blue, one is gold, and the rest are white. A player has a chance to draw one ball from the box. 
a red ball will win him 500 pesos a blue ball will win him 1000 pesos and the single gold ball can give him a prize of 5000 pesos he will not win anything if he draws a white ball what would be the fair price to pay for a chance to draw a ball from a box let's have the solution let x be the amount a player can win then the mass points or the values of x are 500 1000 5000 and zero zero because if you are going to draw um, a white ball you will earn nothing with corresponding probabilities of so 500 the probability is 10 over 150 because um, there are 10 red balls so 10 over 150 balls simplifying that it's 1 over 50 1000 pesos the probability is 5 over 150 because there are 5 blue balls over 150 the simplified form of that is 1 over 30 5000 the probability is 1 because there's only one gold ball over 150 balls you will earn 0 with the probability of 134 why 134 because if you're going to add this 10 plus 5 plus 1 that is 16 subtracting that 16 from 150 that's 134 meaning there are 134 white balls so 134 over 150 or 67 over 75 that's the probability of getting zero computing for the expected value we have 500 times the probability 1 over 15 1000 times 1 over 30 5000 times 1 over 150 and um, 0 times 67 over 75 adding all that we'll get 100 the result indicates that the fair amount to charge anyone who wants to try his luck in the game is 100 pesos example number three a raffle is held to raise money for charity a raffle ticket costs 100 pesos and there are 2,500 tickets to be sold. The ticket drawn in the raffle will win for its holder the prize of 100,000. Compute the expected value of this raffle. Let X denote the net proceeds of the ticket holder. So for example, you are a ticket holder x there is the random variable the net proceeds the possible values of the random variable are 99,900 if you win uh, because you paid 100 pesos that's why it's only 99,900 and if you lose the random variable um, the value of the random variable is negative 100 with corresponding probabilities of, for 99,900, the probability is 1, because there's only one lucky ticket, over 2,500 tickets. And negative 100, with a probability of 2,499, the rest of the tickets, over 2,500. Now, computing for the expected value, 99,900 times 1 over 25 plus negative 100 times 2499 over 25. Computing for that, the answer is negative 60. This means that on the average, a person expects to lose 60 pesos every time he buys a raffle ticket. Now let's proceed to insurance policies. Insurance companies sell various types of insurance policies to cover possible future losses of life or property. The expected value of an insurance policy 
to the policy owner is usually negative. Why is that so? Because the insurance companies expect to earn more from the sale of these policies than the amount they have to pay um, they have to pay out for the insurance claims. Let's have example number four. A car insurance company offers to pay 500000 if a car is stolen or is destroyed beyond repair. The insurance policy costs 24000 and the probability that the company will need to pay the amount of insurance is 0 0.002. Find the expected value of the insurance to car owners. Let x represent, so this x is the random variable representing the policy owner's net gain. So the owner of the car. Then the values of x and the corresponding probabilities are, so the owner will lose 24,000 with a probability of 9998. And he will earn 476,000 with a probability of 0 0.002 because the company will pay that with a probability of 0 0.002. And it's 476 only because um, the owner paid 24,000 before getting this. Now, computing for the expected value, we have negative 24,000 times the probability 0.998 plus 476,000 times the probability 0 0.002. The expected value is negative 23,000. What does that mean? Clearly, that the negative expected value, 23,000, shows that the policy is designed to the advantage of the insurance company. But the car owners still buy these insurance policies because the security it provides in the event of a loss is worth the cost to them. So actually, the car owner is losing 23,000 pesos as he buys the insurance policy. Example number five. A company estimates that about 0 0.007 of their products will fail after the regular one-year warranty, but within two years from the date of purchase. If this happens, the company will pay a replacement cost of 3500 if the company offers its customers an extended warranty covering a period of two years for the price of 480 pesos, what is the company's expected value? Take note, company's expected value, not the buyer. For each extended warranty that it can sell. Let's have the solution. Let x or the random variable be the company's net gain. The values of x and the corresponding probabilities are so 480, the company will earn 480 pesos with a probability of 0.993, and the company will lose 3020, that's 480 minus 35 with a probability of 0 0.007 because it's actually um, the probability of having failure. Now let's compute for the expected value 480 times 0 0.993 times negative 3020 times 0 0.007. The answer is 455.5. This shows that on the average, the company stands to gain 455 pesos, 455.5 pesos for each extended warranty it sells. So the company gains 455.5 pesos for each warranty. 
Let's have the last example. Robin and Nami are planning to invest some of their savings in bonds. They went to a bank to talk to their investment advisor and they were given two investment options on bonds. The first type of bonds pays a 6% interest but with a 3% default rate. So when we say default rate, it's actually a failure. You will not earn money with this while the second pays interest at a rate of 5% with a default rate of 2%. If it succeeds, you will earn 5% interest for the second bond and for the first bond, you will earn 6% interest. In case of bond default or failure, all the money invested in bonds will be lost. Let X be the returns of the first bond or the earning and let Y be the returns on the second bond. Robin and Nami plan to invest 200,000 pesos of their savings in bond. Find the expected values of X and Y. Take note, X is for the first bond and Y is for the second type of bond. And letter B, based on the expected values of X and Y, which bond should Robin and Nami invest in? Let's have the solution. The probability mass functions for X and Y are... So we have here 200,000 times 6% for the first bond. So the return is 12,000 with a probability of 0.97. Now, this one is negative 200 with a probability of 0 0.03 because the default rate is 3%. For the second bond, it's 5% interest. So that's 5% times 200,000, it's 10,000 with a probability of 0.98 because the probability of Losing 200,000 is 0 0.02. The default rate is point is 2%. Now let's compute for the expected value. For the first bond, the expected value is 12,000 times 0 0.97 times negative plus negative 200,000 times 0 0.03. It's a probability. The computed value is 5,640, so that's the expected value. And that is also the return value. For the second bond, we have 10,000 times 0 0.98 plus negative 200,000 times 0 0.02. The return value is 5,800. Letter B, since the expected value of Y is higher, so it's 5,800 compared to 5,640, than the expected value of X, it would be better for Robin and Nami to invest their money on the second value.